welcome to the Central Florida Gardening Show. Hi, it's Robin. Um, just doing an update. It's December 10th and we're in my back garden and there's nothing really pretty back here. I haven't weeded so I haven't done a video but I guess it's that time so just bear with the weeds. Um, this is our pepper plant and basil still going good. Um, this is our hot peppers. And we got quite a few still on here. I pruned this back pretty good and I'm glad that I did because the peppers are doing really what good and here there's a pepper back here it's a different type and I can't get it untangled but it needs to be pruned back too um, but they're kind of hot for me I don't like hot peppers so if anyone knows they turn really pretty bright red where are you right there so let me know if you know what that is because I have no idea what it is Basil's blooming and flowering. Sweet potato vine kind of took over and is spreading through the back. Back there, that's a potato vine. And then I have some up here somehow. Reached all the way over here, so I'm just going to let them go. I have a volunteer tomato that's just popped up. I'm going to let him go. I've got some blooms. Uh, I don't know if the weather's warm enough, but We'll just let them go because I'm not doing anything back here anyways. So, uh, sugar snap peas, wherever they are, they're back there. I've got a couple popping up there and I've got a big pot of them. These are my Tom Telios, purple Tom Telios from Seeds of Change. And they're all kind of busting out of their shells. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to get bigger or not, but I was uh, hoping for bigger and better. So I'll just keep on letting that grow and see how it does through the winter. So still a lot, bunch of peppers. And they're still producing some. I don't know what the heck happened to that one. That's weird. Um, there's a rat terrier. Produced a lot of them too. <laughs> and this is the sad garden. It's all weeds and volunteer. Malabar spinach. There's a volunteer tomato. Um, my sugar snaps, I just trimmed about 10 or 15 off of these, but they get real nice. Oh, I missed one. They get real nice and big. And there's 10 of them on this, generally, so they'll come back more. Diacons in the corner where the dog's eating. Get out of it! And uh, there's some cucumber back there somewhere <laughs> in the weeds. I might get out there this week. We'll see. And then my peppers need to be transplanted into something bigger. Um, but there they are. They're doing good. Those are the ones that I originally planted. I got um, spinach and Russian kale. So right now that's about all I'm producing in the backyard. There's a strawberry plant. I haven't done anything with him. He's just kind of sitting here. Got a drip system here. Drip. Drips down into the bottom ones some clover. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to put either more spinach in here or uh, the, the strawberry plant. I haven't decided yet. And that's about it for right now. And I'll go out to the front and show you what I'm really proud of. My, this is my blessed almond. And I don't know if you can see all the bumblebees. It's a shady day, so I figured maybe we could see some of the bumblebees flowing, flowing through. It smells like baby's breath or a sweet almond extract. A bunch of bees and bumblebees and butterflies and all that like this but this here is we clean this out and I've, I've always said I wanted to start a garden in the front but really haven't had the time or the patience so I went ahead and we cleaned this up it was all periwinkles and we pulled them all out and um, put in red and green cabbage and oh I'm not sure what this other stuff is called I forget it's like a I don't know <clears throat> a purple it looks like a radish that grows above ground um, or like an not like an endive but um, so that's what I got and then I did to be Christmassy I did um, poinsettias and one's already died that one's struggling, but the others looked to be doing okay. 
Um, if any of them make it through winter, then I'll keep them, but if not, then I'll probably rip them up and put um, some vegetables in that side too. I was even thinking about pulling these boxwoods up because they're kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of over them, kind of tired of looking at them. So, and that's my front yard. There's roses in that one, boxwood. And that's it. Thank you for visiting and thank you for joining um, Central Florida Gardening.